Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Director's Cut. When we last left off, we made it to the gut house. So, I think it's, <coughs> excuse me, only fair we start recording. You know, um, I'm starting to wonder if I'm coming down with fucking COVID again. Like, seriously, I'm, I've been sitting here pretty much playing this all day. And, oh, I tell you what, I'm... <laughs> I'm definitely coming down with fucking something again. Jesus. Right. Anyway, let's um let's go through the dormitories. We'll go through this one first. Ooh, we sh now nah, if oh we got a small key. That's all right. Hey guys. Welcome to Flavor Country. Population you. There we go. Just a little bit off the top. So hopefully in this set we need to get um. Oh, there's two keys actually that we need. I th think this desk. Yeah, this desk gives us shotty shells. Uh, which is cool. But there's a key over here, there's a small key. Um, which we'll definitely have. But there's another desk that's locked, but the only thing that's in that desk is ink ribbons. So they're not really worth picking up. Um, nothing unusual. Yeah, so I'm going to try and uh, try and stay motivated. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired because I've, I've been back to work. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. God knows. All right, there's a muddy bathtub in here, but um, I don't think there's anything in there. I think there's something in there for Jill. I'm pretty sure it's a key. Um, but for Chris here, I don't think so. No, is there a clip? Uh, I think that's in the other room. Yeah, no, there's a clip on the floor in the other in one of the other rooms. Okay, cool. So, that's the first dormitory swept and clear. Nothing too exciting in here, sadly. But that's okay. We've got plenty to explore in this place. Now, let's head on to the uh, bar, I guess. We've got a couple of spiders in here. Is it two or three? I can't remember, but you know what? We're going to kill them all, because that's what we're here to do. I'm probably going to get poisoned, and that's fine. Oof. Whoa. Oh, you sneaky little sausage. I might actually die here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Wow, we're in danger. Are you serious? But we're not poisoned. How curious. Alright. <laughs> right. Oh no! No! Are you absolutely serious? Dude, you got wasted by a spider. Unfrickin' believable. Well, at least it gives us an opportunity to test the game's rewind feature, which, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it, it does what it says on the tin, I guess. Right, okay. That was disastrous. I mean, getting melted down by a spider like that. Also, apparently... Oh, right, because in the director's cut, yes, there's extra um, little holes for this thing to come out. Ah, of course. Uh, now, that tentacle, it doesn't actually hurt you. It's just an annoying animation, so... Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Right, let's go get ourselves a mega herb, shall we? Uh, I guess we can just... Yeah, we'll have a mix. Sure. Okay, cool. That'll do. Can't believe we got iced by the freaking spider, though. Like, seriously. That was... Ugh. Well, to be fair, um, I never fight the spiders. So, yeah... I guess uh, maybe a little bit tougher than I remember. Now, he should be around. Yeah, there he is. Right, let's give him a load there. You're not dead, because I can hear you. Come on. There we go. Squirrely bastard. That's how it should go. 
Right, so it looks like a clock dial, 215, some kind of code. It is indeed, Chris, and that's always worth checking because the code uh, on that changes. So the more you know, I guess. Right, let's grab up this red book because we need that. And again, um, I like what they did with that in the remake. I don't know if these spiders can actually hurt you. Uh, well, uh, there we go. There we go, I guess they can. You don't hurt you very much, and you can just reset the room by leaving and uh, coming back in. And that actually gets rid of the spiders anyway. Uh, we we could push that statue down there, but like it, there's no point. It's just going to grab us a little bit. Yep, no damage. That's fine. All right, let's keep exploring the dormitory, shall we? Keep this uh, exploration zombie hunt going. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. Honestly. Jeez. Um, right. So, we've got some herbage up here. Uh, do, uh, we don't need the herbage. What I'll do... Um, I'll sweep and clear the mansion, I think. Um, before we get out of here. So, we need the dormitory key. So, we can go get the dormitory key. We need key number two. Wait a minute. Yes, yes, we do. We need key number two, and then that gives us access to key number three. Key number two is here. Again, in the remake, this bit uh, was really cool. Really freaking cool. Um, I like how they made these bees a little bit more involved, I guess you could say. And you had the bloke that was stung to death, and of course you had to use the um, bug spray to get rid of them uh, by having a little peep through that. Uh, are we going the right way? No, we're not. Of course we're not. Yeah, by having a little peep up by that statue where those herbs are. Um, I thought that was a really freaking cool uh, new touch. Right. Yeah, throw the damn key away. Do it. Get rid of it. Now... We're going to go fight the plant. Um, we could take the handgun. Uh, there are There is an argument for using the handgun. Like, uh, it's quicker and easier to blast off with the handgun than it is um, the shotgun. You know, slightly. But, eh, uh, I'm not going all the way back there. Just get the handgun out. Hey, gentlemen. Oh, his bleeding head came off. What about you, dude? Yeah, man. There you go. Smell that blood. Mmm. Now, this is the other key, I believe. It is. Yeah. I'm going to say it was either a key or a magazine. We don't want it to be a magazine. Um, nothing else in here. Apart from these two gentlemen. Not sure what they're doing hiding in the toilet together there. Pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a diary that actually explains that. In. Ah, there we go. Uh, we will use the small key just for the sake of using it. And there's some shotgun shells. Wonderbar. That is not the desk I was thinking of. So it must be the other desk in the other dormitory that has the um, two shotgun shells. No, no, what is it? It's uh, ink ribbons. Yes, it's kind of useless. Come on, let's grab the dormitory sketch. Ah, thank you. And we have this information here. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T-virus differently than the other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily manageable, uh, imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and that promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42's um, another part of plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct 
and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Uh, many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it, then starts sucking up blood using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Now, that's important for a minute, right? <clears throat> so, there is a, a main set of double doors in the main hall that's jammed and we can't go through because the plant is blocking the uh, the doors right uh, uh, keep that keep that in your heads and also uh, where it says especially when it captures prey or is sleeping right safe to say it's probably sleeping now several staff members have already fallen victims to this all right well thanks for the heads up Henry <coughs> Oh, good God, man. You know when you've been coughing loads and your chest, like, literally feels just like you've been kicked in the ribs? Yeah. Ah, see, I would have expected this uh, whilst I was sick. You know, that standard um, for that kind of ailment. But it's bizarre that I'm getting it now, like, 11 odd days after. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. That's what I mean. It kind of feels like a... A secondary, <clears throat> a secondary infection, but I, I don't know if that's a thing. I have no idea. Anywho, we're keeping ourselves happy by playing Resident Evil Director's Cut. So, <coughs> let's keep going. Um, don't. Yes. No, is there zombies in here? Yes, there is. Hey, dude. Come and say hi. Or low. Whatever you prefer. Stop fucking about, boy. There you go. Was that so hard? Desk is locked. Right, yeah. We'll get a key um, later, which we can use there. But it's just ink ribbons. Kind of a waste of our time, really. Uh, so there's nothing there we can use. A row of red books. There's one white book. Will you take it? Aye, the V-Jolt report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16. One of the series of UMB chemicals that we are that we used for that experiment. That experiment, eh? We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculations, it will take less than 5 seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt. But the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. The following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. UMB2, red. Ah, uh, yeah, we... UMB13, stimulating smell. Alright, that's fine. We know our way around, um... UMB chemicals. Don't you worry your little heads about that. Uh, now, there's a magazine on the floor. Uh, in this dorm? Question mark? I think. <coughs> oh. Yep, and a zombie. Whoop. Off with your bont, sir. I guess we'll take the magazine just for, well, uh, for the sake of taking the magazine, I suppose. Uh, right. Now, let's go and um, face off the plant, shall we? we kick the plant in the balls. It's bulbous, orbus balls, but I assume it probably has. Maybe. Oh my. Chris! R Rebecca! 
No, it's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You could... Whoa! Chris! Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion and kill the root. Becca, please. Chris, don't die. I'm sure he's going to try not to. So yeah, this is the door that apparently is jammed and locked when it's either sleeping, right, or has captured prey. But somehow, because of plot reasons, Rebecca can burst through it. But, um, you know, whatever, I guess. Okay, so let's go mix us <clears throat> up some potions. This is going to be the last recording I do today. It's my throat, man. Uh, there is a panel with number keys. Will you push the keys? Yes, we will. Now, remember that 215 that we saw earlier? Boop, boop, boop. Open sesame. Right, let's go mix up a big old vat of voodoo. <sighs> right, um, now, interesting. See these, um, see if there's a better look at these. See these uh, models here? They're actually like, a, not here, but on the actual game screen. They're the same model, slightly distorted as the serum model. At least it looks that way to me anyway. Uh, let's grab that one. There's actually four bottles here, but we only need three. <clears throat> I don't think you can do this with two, maybe. Right, anyway, so we need to start mixing. So we're going to put water in one. Cool water, apparently. And we want UMB and uh, num. Oh shit, no. We want UMB number two. UMB number two, thank you. We're gonna mix those two suckers together. And uh, two and one and two becomes three. A little bit like so. Now <clears throat> we have MP3. I wonder, check. It still says cool water. Okay, I was wondering if the label somehow magically changed, but I guess not. So, now we need UMB4, which is here. Come on, there's UMB number four. Will you use UMB number four? Yes, please. Nice green. I wonder if that has a stimulating smell also. I doubt it because it wasn't written in the report. So now we have UMB number seven. So we need to make yellow six, which is UMB number four. And number two. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, is it UMB? Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. We need UMB four. And we need UMB two. Yeah, because that creates six. And then we mix seven and six together to get 13. That's right. I remember things sometimes. Uh, make sure we don't mix it into the wrong jug of voodoo. And then if we mix 6 and 7 to make 13, remember, um, Vigil is uh, 17, I believe, or something like that. So we've got 13. So we just need to make up another batch of MP303, which is UMP or UMB number 2, with a cool glass of water. Not to be confused with your sandwich. Because apparently Mrs. Jill's sandwich is uh, akin to a tall glass of uh, drinking water, if you believe Carlos in the remake. Uh, right, water. Okay. And there we go. So we have uh, our V-Jolt here. Excellent. Let's go croak us a fucking plant, I guess. Ugh. Let's go do some gardening, shall we? Gee, Rebecca, it's really bloody useful you're here. I'm just saying, it's actually amazing how many times uh, you save Chris. And given the fact that you've apparently already gone through the training facility, uh, otherwise known as Resident Evil Zero, it, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. 
Anyway, <clears throat> let's go back to, wait, is it, yes, there, it is this one, uh, it is, cool, alright, I do get my dorms mixed up sometimes, right, come on Rebecca, you're stronger than I gave you credit for, looks like these things are full of cookware, now head down to the basement, down, down, deeper and down, Okay, oh, I love the music down here. It's really like ominously creepy. Now, let's do the old box puzzle. Resident Evil and their box puzzles, eh? I think all the Resident Evil games that have box puzzles. Obviously this one. Resident Evil 2. Uh, does Resident Evil 3 have box puzzles? I can't actually remember, but I know Resident Evil 0 does. For sure. Um, in fact, I think Resident Evil Zero has a really annoying one. I haven't played that. I haven't actually played Zero since... Uh, probably since we recorded it last, actually. Whenever the hell that was. Yeah, maybe I should play it again soon. Not for the channel. I need to stop rehashing so many LPs. There's so, 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 so many games that I want to play. Uh, even though there's an awful lot I want to replay and update, there's so many new games that I want to play. Or, not always necessarily new games, but, you know. Uh, there's a good chunk of new games, and there's an awfully large chunk of old games. Right, come on, Rebecca, let's get this done. This is a very tedious puzzle once you've done it. Uh, 68,000 times, like I probably have. Maybe that's an exaggeration, 68,000 times. Probably 43,000 times. Oh yeah, we've got the two herbs there. I don't know if, I, can Rebecca pick those up? She can. Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't know that Rebecca could pick those up. Curious. Alright. Well. We'll be coming back down here as Chris anyway, so. Let's go. Just head in here. Now what's interesting there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Notice we didn't actually get the Neptune cutscene. It seems to be that you have to play this game in a very specific kind of way to get the Neptune cutscene. I think we actually have to go the long way around. But like, why would you do that? In fact, using this wonderful um, rewind feature, we can actually uh, have a look. See if we can get trigger that cutscene. Out of curiosity. So if we go this way around, do we trigger the cutscene? No! How interesting is that, man? Ah! So, um... No Neptune cutscene. Well, okay. I don't know whether that's because it, that's this version of the game, or... <clears throat> generally, if um, you just don't get that as Rebecca, very strange. But it matters not. It matters very little to our cause. Right, let's V jolt. Oh, we're in danger! Oh wow, he hurts, dude. He really hurts. He does not hurt Chris that much. But then, Chris has a, has a lot of health. I'm hoping. No, we don't have to run back through. No, we don't. We should switch back up to Chris now, I think. Uh, yes, excellent. You alright there, buddy? Keep keep taking it like that, champ. Looks like this little bold boy's done.
Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, old boy is not done. Can confirm. All right, come on, spit your poisonous, vile gunge at me. All right, let's see that second wave of goo come down. Come on, there we go. I mean, he's not really... There we go, that's got hurt there. Oh, God, where am I? He's really not much of a boss, to be fair. And that's all he wrote. Oh, she wrote for him. Now, I think it's probably more efficient to use the handgun because it really doesn't take that many handgun bullets to kill him. I don't think. It takes, like, maybe just over a magazine. So, like, 15, 20 bullets, which really isn't too bad. It's locked again. The door won't open. Oh, that's the other door. <coughs> I was going to say, there's no damn plant there, man. What's going on? Oh! I can't believe it! Are you okay? Yeah. So much for him. We got to the root of the problem. Saved again. Oh, God. I just... Really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I guarantee it. <laughs> so creepy. Well, I think I can make another potion. I'll go back to the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago. I go make another potion, eh? I love the way the characters turn around, that animation. It's so satisfying. Anyway, somehow. Chris, I'm glad you're safe. Yeah. Well, saved again by Rebecca. Nice. All right. Thanks, Rebecca. Uh, I think if we go in here, um, I think she offers to heal us, if I remember correctly. I might not be remembering correctly. Uh, hey, Becca. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? What's my, um, major injury? Do you want me to heal your wounds? Yes, please. Yes, please do something for me, temporarily. Temporarily? Okay, that's really weird. Rebecca treats Chris. Yeah, um... Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? It's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. <laughs> Chris doesn't really care. Uh, yeah, so anyway, like I say, we can get healed up here and we might as well, you know. Right, anyway, for us, it's back down to the basement because uh, we got some unfinished business there. And then we're pretty much done with the dorm, to be fair. Uh, what do we actually have on us? Uh, shotgun shelves don't matter. Neither does that, actually. We're going to use up our key. You know what? We'll just we'll roll with what we have. Fine. Uh... Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I can pick up the herbs and things off camera. It's not an issue. Okay, cool. Let's ride. There's a ladder. Will you just send it? Aye. Ah, we're almost on half an hour. I knew I was, I was kind of planning to record for a little bit longer, but... Oh, I might, um... Yeah, I might shelve this and, uh... See if I feel a bit better tomorrow. I fucking hope so. Seriously. Uh, there's some herbage. We don't want the herbage. I'm very curious about that cutscene. Um, if you guys know uh, more about this game than me, which is <laughs> very, very possible, uh, maybe you can tell me uh, in the comments whether there's actually just a missing cutscene there. I, I don't know. 
Uh, we hope to go through that one. We have used the control room key. We're about to get a load of ammo as well, which is really nice. Throw that old useless key away, Chris. Now, to shoot these uh, sharks, or not to shoot these sharks, I think we're going to shoot these sharks. Just because. I'm kind of regretting the fact that I didn't destroy the uh, crows, but I think that probably would have been more trouble than it's worth. Um, <clears throat> maybe. But we've got so much health anyway. It doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. Yep. We should flick this. Oh, we're going to get some more ammo for the handgun next door. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to see how many handgun bullets we can actually stack into one slot. Hey, dude. Going on out here? Who's making all that fucking noise? Jesus, look at you lot. Unbelievable. I definitely like what they did in the remake with these guys as well. How they like massively... Um, well, I say these guys. There's actually only um, the one big Neptune shark. I think... Is that... Wait, hang on. Is there more? I can't remember now if there's multiple sharks. Um, but yeah, I really like what they did. It was great. Uh, okay, so let's grab up these... Anger mags, like so. Just absolutely insanity. Um, playing it on this mode, it's crazy. It's like ammo out the ass. Oh, dude. Here we go. 53. Uh, 28 extra shotgun shells in here. Come on, we've got 71 shotgun shells. And we've been using it liberally. Oh, okay. Right. Now, that's this area cleaned out. Now, if you remember, <clears throat> there still is uh, one item down here. Oh, actually, I don't know if I showed it off. Um, but there is actually a small key in this room. And it sounds like Gabby's come back. Some work, so... I am going to hoover up this little key in the corner here. And we are going to call that. Actually, no, I'll get back up to the save, save room and we'll call that a video. And then off camera, what I will do, I will harvest up all the goodies that are left around here. Uh, put them in the item box and then we should be ready to go back to the mansion. Hey, you got cats going mad. Right, let's grab those. Cats have been pretty quiet today, actually. Strangely. Suspectly. Yeah. Got my shells. Lovely. Right, let's get out of it and let's end the video. Oh, wait, hang on. We've got the cutscene first, haven't we? That's fine. <clears throat> wait. Yes. Yes, we do. Yeah, because the trigger is uh, picking up the key. We're going to go bump into an old uh, an old friend, I guess. You can call him a friend. But right, we can't search that again. Um, uh, did, oh, I didn't show off the other drawer either. The one that's got the um, ink ribbons in. But that doesn't matter. We're, we're not... Uh, we might go grab those. We might not grab those. I don't know. Wesker! <coughs> You're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? 
We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We are still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. 